What's up, peep? This is your boy Jay. Coming with you, coming to you today with a another video of Table Talk. And first of all, I want to say Happy Juneteenth to my people out there. Yes, Happy Juneteenth, people. But I'm gonna get right into the topic because this topic is about symbolism and nothing else. But I want to read something that I just posted on my Facebook page because I want to make something clear here. Because obviously, Negroes don't seem to understand things, you know. And they figure that because you throw them a little breadcrumb, that, oh, it did the kill for something, don't it? It got the kill for something. Really? Yeah, just came from the Juneteenth celebration out um, on Woodland Street. Uh, shout out to all the people that came out. Ados, you know, we 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 got weed out, you know. So, but we understand what's really what's going on, and that's why we are going to continue to shut down all of the BS that everybody is constantly throwing at us with symbolism and selling us hope and not giving us any damn thing. Or giving us what the hell we're asking for. They're giving us what the hell they want. But not giving us what we're asking for. So let me read this piece here. Because this is something pertaining to Juneteenth here. And it goes. Juneteenth. Black people. Before you start doing the twerk. An electric slide. Slide your ass over to reality. That's the truth. Let me polish your knowledge. We ask for justice. And they gave us a holiday that even the slave owners will have off to celebrate. The Asians got a crime bill signed against attacking them. So that means blacks can still be attacked and murdered on the 19th of June. Let's keep it real. We asked for chocolate ice cream and they gave us butter pecan to butter us up. Juneteenth is good, but everybody else got a right to live bill and a holiday. And this is why blacks are still the underdogs. Because anything is everything to us. I'm not thrilled until the black crime bill is signed into law. I don't want to be pacified. I want to be satisfied. Hold America. And I spell America with three K's. Because that's what America was built on. Hold America feet to the fire. The same way they held their knee on George Floyd neck. George Floyd was brutally murdered on national television for the whole world to see. So let the whole world see the President of the United States sign the Human Rights Bill for blacks to be treated human. Anything less than that, I don't give a damn. Real talk. Now, that first part. Before y'all go twerking and buck dancing for white daddy and white mommy because they gave you a damn holiday, let's think about it. Ain't nothing but symbolism. They give you a damn holiday and then give you nothing else. A damn holiday. How stupid can y'all be to not understand that on a federal holiday, white folks still get paid? Dude, we got something. They got to count with something, man. Y'all niggas always got to be talking about this. this man, get y'all dumb. Boy, y'all, I mean, I ain't never seen some of the dumbest niggas in life, man. You niggas are real deal conditioned slaves, man. That's fucked up. You Negroes don't want to be free, man. You want to still be a damn slave. Because every time we look at the shit that we see and see that it's bullshit, and we call your white mommy and your white zaddy out on bullshit, here go you buck dancing, butter biscuit, buck broken Negroes and mammies got something to say. You buck broken Negroes and you sambo mammies Got something to always say. You always got something to say. Well, well, why can't we have a holiday without somebody to... What the hell is a damn holiday? Everybody else got a fucking holiday. People still get paid on a fucking holiday. A national holiday. A federal holiday. White folks get paid. They still get fucking paid. Now, they got an incentive to create a bunch of Juneteenth shit to keep them more rich. And your ass gonna go, go to still be broke. Where is the reparations? Where is the black agenda? 
Where's the black policies hmm, that protects us as a, it makes us a protected class of people, huh? Where's our fucking anti-hate bill at? Hmm? Where's our George Floyd bill? Where's the revision of the HR 40 bill at? See, you Negroes don't know nothing about this shit because you dumb niggas don't study nothing. You niggas don't even know what HR 40 is, man. Unless I tell you dumb niggas, you don't even know what the hell HR 40 is. Go look it up. Go see what the hell these people are trying to do. To, to constantly keep you as a bottom cast in this country. And all they give you is a damn holiday. No reparations. No bill to protect you from anti-black racism. But you get a hate crime for Asians though. They made sure they got a damn hate crime for Asians. Where's the hate crime for black people? Where's the anti-lynching law for black people? Because it seems to me that the only people in this country that, get, that have been lynched or got lynched is black people. And Negroes are still being lynched now today in 2020. Hmm? Where's the anti-lynching bill at? Hmm? Oh, no, you Negroes won't talk about that. Because y'all y'all so happy that your damn master gave you a goddamn holiday. So you can barbecue and do other stupid shit to waste your money on. Why they constantly getting fucking rich. And all you care about is symbolism. You don't care about anything that's going to advance you. Unless you're trying to go and take it from another black person. Symbolism and nothing else, because that's all it is. They ain't giving you white mommy and white zaddy don't do nothing but give you symbolism. They ain't giving you no reparations. They ain't giving you no black agendas. They're not giving you no black policies. They're not making you a protected class of people. They're not even recognizing you as a descendant of slavery because that's what the hell you are. They're trying to put you in a category with every damn body else. They're trying to make you everybody else. So they want to label and call you BIPOC. Black, indigenous, people of color. No, I am not a person of a, a person of color. Okay? And I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm damn sure not BIPOC. So you cannot pass that bullshit off on me. All they did was just create more symbolism for black people. And then you got some dumb Negroes who always got something to say. Man, why is it always going to be something when... Because you a goddamn conditioned slave who don't know shit. Half you dumbass niggas don't know, don't even know when Juneteenth, when, what it was, what Juneteenth was all about. You can't even tell me what year Juneteenth was, and what city and state the Juneteenth was uh, was officially uh, at. But I bet you you can tell a motherfucker about Nicki Minaj's or, 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 or Cardi B's new song, but you don't know shit about your history or your lineage. Nothing about your own history. Nothing about your own lineage. You niggas to go study all the dumbest shit in the world and study, and rather than study yourself, your people, so you can know who you are, where you came from, and what is owed to you. But you so worried about Pookie and Ray Ray owing you $5 down the street to the point where you go shoot up his goddamn house. You ain't worried about your master owing you the trillions of dollars that they owe you for the for the for the work that your ancestors put in to build this country. You'll go fight for fifteen dollars a fucking hour. That ain't a goddamn livable wage. Yes, it is. Cause some people ain't even got that. Some of you slaves are just happy that master gave you a used fucking pillow, so you can sleep in your damn shack. Well, I didn't have that at first. I was sleeping on a cardboard. So whatever doggy bones or biscuits that Massa throw to y'all, y'all happy about it. You don't demand shit from Massa. But he demands everything from you, though. Like happy slaves, you do it. Like happy-ass slaves, you do it. But see, the problem is when somebody go telling you dumb Negroes about what it is, you Negroes just get mad and get and turn more into fucking slaves. Your slave mentality kicked in so bad, it's it's hard to talk to y'all. Some of y'all, it's hard to even have communication with y'all because that slave mentality, man, that shit is still in y'all. It's still in you. 
But you ain't got no problem with going down the street getting that Pookie and Ray Ray. Oh, I got these pistols for these niggas. I got this, that, that for these niggas. Everything for that nigga. But other than you don't got nothing for massa. It's always something for the nigga. But all your master do is give you a bunch of goddamn symbolism and sell you hope like you in a fucking church. No reparations, no black agendas, no black policies, no protection laws, no nothing. And you dumb niggas don't realize that Juneteenth is a federal holiday and you still can be shot and killed by race soldiers in this country. You still could be lynched. Anything can still happen to your ass on this day. Don't forget that. This day ain't no different than any other fucking day. Because they'll still whack and kill your ass on this day. So with that being said, people, I want to give a shout out to my people at ADOS. Putting in work. Boots on the ground. Getting people informed, man. Getting people informed. Me, I'm, 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 I'm like this. Whatever it is that we got to do to get what it is that we need. Ain't no more playing Mr. Nice Guy and marching and protesting. Man, if we got to take these motherfuckers to war, then we're going to have to take them to war. But the first thing we're going to have to do is get you dumbass niggas out of the way first. We're going to have to get you slaves out the way. So in order for us to get to massa, we got to take you slaves out the way first. So all you gatekeepers and, and go along, get along gang, as our brother Kwame would call them. Part of, part of the go-along, get-along game that's constantly tearing down and disparaging our people for the benefit of white supremacy, we coming to get you first. We're coming to get you first. You'll be the first niggas we get out of the way first. That's been said. Peace, love, black power. Happy Juneteenth, my people. I'm out this bitch. <laughs>